In every single market, there are high probability setups forming. And if you want to identify high probability setups without any indicators that would just clutter our chart, we can use price action rules to help us navigate the structure. And in this video, we're going to go through bar by bar how to follow price action rules to get us to identify high probability setups. Because if we combine singular bar patterns with the overall context, we can stay on the right side of the market. Now, my job as a price action trader at first is to safely identify what is the structure, the pre-market analysis, because I just want to know in what structure I am and what is the bias. And this structure is clearly a trading range, bottom here, highs here, move up, move down. But there is stronger bearish bias. Notice so many lower highs and so many lower lows. So for that reason, I'm thinking more bearish to start the day with. Okay, the first rule I'm going to follow is the trend line rule, which says after break of a channel, traders expect for prices to create new high, new extreme. Since we are in an uptrend, we have an uptrend, break, and market created new high. And also notice, first leg up, pull back, second leg up. Now market likes to move in pairs of twos. This is how price action works. And the moves can be sometimes measured. If they are not measured, it's not a big deal. I just want to see the location where the market is heading. I just want to see the target. So we have a break new high, which means uptrend played out. And if I combine it with the overall bearish bias, I'm looking to sell. However, can I look for a lower high? Notice we are pushing below EMA, which is supportive indicator, 21 bar EMA. We're pushing below EMA, confirming bearish bias, uptrend played out. I'm not looking for a lower high. I'm looking for a trap, a felt second entry long, because any second entry long after uptrend played out below EMA in bearish bias is going to be a trap. The reason why I'm looking for felt second entry long and at lower high is simple. We came from the support. So we may have stronger bounce, I'm not really sure, I can't see the future, so I want to see trap just to be sure. And we have lower high, but we don't get felt second entry long. Felt second entry long form above EMA, not below. So we can have a few more pushes higher, I cannot risk it. I'm watching the market go, new low, first century short, second attempt to sell, which is a high priority setup. A little bit aggressive above EMA, not really interested, but notice what we have. Push below EMA and massive push up. Notice how many bars are going to look at this and see micro double bottom thinking, I have to buy above this nice bullish bar, but they're missing one thing. Uptrend played out and two leg up pullback indicated end of a bullish move. And remember, we identify bearish buy, so I don't want to go long and notice dig higher into reverse up. You know that everybody is trapped at this point on. This is a low high confirmation setup of a new low, first entry short, second entry short right here. So we confirm the second entry short, low high. This is a high probability setup. However, at the time, the signal bar was seven points big. So this is pretty much unenterable given the risk to reward ratio. So you wouldn't have to just miss it. But from the context perspective, from the price session, this is a great trap and market keeps working lower. Confirming the bearish bias. Okay, so I'm still thinking bearish. There's still bearish imbalance because if I put the midline here, we are not pushing above it. Notice we have a downtrend working lower, break and new low. But when I was watching this live, I drew a channel like this. Why? It feels like a little bit of a stretch, but it's really not. Because I'm thinking that prices are going to reach the support, giving the overall bearish imbalance. I'm just having this feeling that we may reach the support. It's too bearish. So let's see if it gets proven. It's getting proven, but it's not closing to EMA. It's far above, it's far from EMA. So we may eventually just dig higher, touch the EMA in reverse. I'm not going to risk it. Market just keeps pushing low. And this is how I'm following the price action rules. Just waiting for high priority setups, following these channels and following the overall bias. All right. Prices are working higher, but we are pushing back below EMA. Okay, so if we are pushing back below EMA, I'm going to take a step back and I can see, hold on, if I'm just connecting these first few swings, which a lot of times is how you will find the channel of the first few swings, I'm going to copy, it fits nicely off to lows, fits nicely here. This pattern is a little bit of a stretch, but in case it gets confirmed, I want to have it on a chart. And it ticked higher and reversed down. Okay, this is confirming my channel. And when I was watching this, I was preparing my limiter to sell, but at the end of the bar, Notice half of this bar is a bullish stim indicating a lot of people started buying at the close of the bar. I cannot really sell here even though it worked nicely. I have to respect the signal bar rule, confirm the key entry point. The signal bar didn't end well. We're closing outside the main channel. We have a break new high. And at this point on, I'm following the trend line rule which says I expect for prices to create a new low for the downtrend. Uptrend has a break new high. And remember, bias is bearish. So I'm not drawing wider pattern. I'm drawing these trend lines tight. I'm not going to draw it wide like this because I still expect new low for the downtrend. New low, first entry short, second entry short, micro double top. 
great setup but inside bar first bar is this bullish bar you know this would have been decent entry with better single bar because we expect new low double tap up chain played out i almost took it but just couldn't ignore the single bar especially at the start of the session and market just keeps pushing over and notice how bearish this is okay this is starting to look very bearish so if i'm going to zoom back i can see that this string range is basically completely negated and we have a bearish dance for working over. So what I did, I located a channel like this. Even though it's a little bit too wide for train range, we basically started for the most part with only bearish bias and I have so many confirmations here. I pretty much cannot ignore it. So I was playing this downtrend. So since this is a downtrend, I'm just looking for high priority setups to sell. But we have stronger correction. Okay. First break of the main channel, so I expect for prices to come back into main channel following the trend line rule. New high, first entry long, but I cannot take lower high just yet. I want to see if felt second entry long option is to get new high. I need to see push below EMA. We didn't even push below EMA. Nothing set up here, nothing triggered. Felt second entry long for above EMA, but I can't really take it. Notice, count reset at this point on. Lower high form, but below bullish bar a little bit too stacked you would like to take lower high but not this and the felt second entry long never formed so you're missing all these chances to sell but this is what you have to do notice prices are working higher you have a new low first entry short second entry short but you have same problem as earlier inside bar of this horrible bar at the time you're playing also the short and uptrend which you later adjust to this so there is no way for us to sell and prices are not working lower we're pushing back about the trend. So okay something is changing here wow this is quite a strong momentum so i'm just watching price action go and we're pushing quite high okay however notice we're correcting am i thinking bullish am i looking for new extreme it may seem weird but i'm not really thinking bullish at all even though we have a break of this uptrend i'm not looking for prices to create new high why because this looks like a first leg up here second leg up here this uptrend reached new high and if i'm gonna zoom back notice we barely crawled up into the string range and this push up is very insignificant compared to how strong the bearish momentum was i was still expecting for prices to at least test to create new low two legs up we barely push higher and just is not too bullish and notice if i'm going to use 10,000 tick chart by the way shout out to buy by money for introducing me to 10,000 tick chart i can clearly see uptrend working higher break new high indicating end of the correction two legs up so I'm not looking for new high for this secondary leg up. Instead, I'm looking for prices to create new low only after sellers attempted to create new low for the downtrend and this support held. This is where the bias changed and the buyer started coming to the market. And this is where I can redraw a brand new uptrend. Okay, so given these reasons, I'm just observing how EMA acts. I have a new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. Okay, forming above bullish bar. I don't want to go long at all. I don't want to go short because it's above EMA. I don't want to take double trap. I already mentioned why I'm not looking to buy and it's inside of this channel. So you don't want to go long anyway, but it takes higher and reverse down. Everybody going long at trap below EMA, big tier one signal bar, full bearish momentum. This was my first trade for the day and a lower high confirming a felt second entry long high probability setup and market continue pushing long. So once I see break new low and another new low, I expect for prices to reach the support. So I'm going to extend the channel. And I have two channels that need to get new extreme. At least this one is the most recent one, most important one. We're pushing above EMA. We have high low, but I'm not looking to go long. Okay, even though it seems a little bit odd, this uptrend, you're not really looking to go long. Just, you have to compare the bearish momentum to this overall structure. And once you barely just push above EMA here, you're just not going to reverse this strongly. This bearish momentum ended after first leg, correction, second leg. So at this point on the bullish momentum ended and the bearish momentum is starting so we have new low first entry short take higher second entry short very tempting setup very good signal bar very quick momentum everybody who went long here just right now may get trapped but it's a little bit too stacked notice so many bars sideways not the best it was too quick anyways the scalp was reached without you even getting filled so there's no way but notice, push higher and lower high confirmation of the second entry short. Great big bearish bar, you take high, reverse down. Also, you have smaller resistance here. So market is working lower. We created break, new low. We bounce here. So at this point on, structure is changing. And what is the structure right now? Smaller trading range. 
Okay, so I'm playing the training range rules, drawing the channels really tight, break, new high. We have a new low first entry short, second entry short, which is very tempting. And this is not a bad setup by any means. I just don't like this doji bullish sigma bar. But if you took a second entry short here with the break new high, fell breakout, you're playing the training range rules. And this is not a bad setup. I can definitely see why. It's a little bit more aggressive. I'm not going to mark it, but this is definitely a decent setup because you're following the train range rule. Okay, so uptrend played out, two legs up, market likes to move in pairs of twos. You're doing okay. Notice prices are failing to reach the bottom. Support of the main train range is holding and strong reversal. Okay, so this was the point where you have to adapt to structure. From this point, I'm thinking bullish only. I'm buying. So after such a decisive push above EMA, momentum is changing. I'm counting for high priority setups. What are going to be high priority setups? Second entry long or felt second entry short. We're no longer counting for second entry short because bias is getting bullish. We're back into this train range. The support is holding. EMA keeps holding. This uptrend needs to get new high. So I have three reasons to enter. I'm going to add two more. New high, first entry long, second entry long. High priority setup, new low, first entry short, second entry short. High priority setup, big bullish bar, two key entry points, great. High priority setup, and market keeps working higher. We have another fell breakout, which you're playing the train range rules, which is not bad. But since you're coming from this bounce here and EMA keeps holding, it feels like the momentum is changing and it might be too bullish. Not a bad setup, but feels a bit aggressive at this point. At this point, on bias is changing, it's getting too bullish. So I don't think you want to be focusing on sells. Now, we have shortened uptrend. We have a break and you high. So this is where the confusing part started, because if I'm going to take a step back, I can see that we are working higher consistently, but it is too flat, too train range like. This is not a healthy uptrend. So you're not really sure whether there is a wider pattern, but the wider uptrend seems too wide, so I can't use it. Short uptrend is a break new high, so I just need to sit here and watch. Okay, if you're not sure, you're not doing anything. There are areas on a chart where the high priority setup is unclear, but the structure is unclear and you cannot force it. It's completely okay to just sit and let the price session do its thing until you're going to break in either direction and you're going to know what's happening. Notice we have a tick high reversal down, which is a very tempting low high, big single bar. But this is mainly gut feeling setup because this is a sideways structure, flat EMA. You also have a break new low, so you would be selling while the new low was formed. You know, great setup, but too gut feeling. I'm not going to mark it. Notice first leg down, second leg down, indicating end of the correction. And you're not working lower like you would expect if you're playing the short term channel. Instead, you're pushing above EMA. So this is where you have to change. And there is possibly a wider pattern. And what is the most logical pattern to find? First couple of swings, confirming here. And at this point, on, I'm looking for felt second entry short above EMA. I get just odd high low. I get a felt second entry short here, but it's below EMA. It's not even touching the trend line. It's kind of hanging there in the middle of nowhere. Had it formed close to trend line, you can go long. But since it's just hanging there like this, don't really like it. At the time, of course, in hindsight, it makes sense. And the support is proven in hindsight. But when you're watching this live, it's a little bit harder to make the call here. You have new high, first entry long, second entry long. I took this trade myself, the second entry long, because nice bullish bar above EMA, off the support now. But you have very little room here. This is more aggressive. I'm marking this because I took it. And I went for six ticks. But this setup works even for 25, 25. 25 and even for nine ticks so even full scalp would have been reached you would have had the nine tick scalp but i went for six because i wanted to have room to get out and this is too aggressive you're too high it's too stacked too in the middle of train range so this is not the best setup i just like the signal bar get a little bit suckered in fortunately i took my six ticks got out of this trade and was just watching the market go you can see too congested you have a break new high so you're not sure you get an odd second entry long and market is working higher strongly. So, okay, this is confusing again because if you're going to draw a wider pattern like this, it's too wide. Let me get confirmation. You get just one swing here. Just broad two swings. Not great. This channel at least has multiple confirmations. Break and new high. So this is where it got confusing. You're wondering if this is a break new high, this is too bullish of a push. Okay, but I don't have a clear wider channel, so I can't just do anything here. New high for central long, second entry long, below EMA, but structure not clear. 
and this is basically the same scenario like this you have to just sit patient not take anything here too unclear and eventually market keeps working lower okay so this is confirming that there is no other wider pattern because we completely negated it bottom is falling off and this is too bearish so now that the bias is bearish and trend is down i'm looking for high priority setups to sell second entry short key entry point felt second entry long lower high double trap all at the key entry point and we are not at the ema so i have to just ignore these setups because we just cannot make our way to ema okay and we are correcting break new low so we have new low i'm not looking to sell first entry short worked and we are pushing above ema okay so i have break two legs two new low indicating downtrend played out but look at this downtrend this is still very strong why during our way down we have never closed above ema once okay and this is good indication how you can recognize that the downtrend may eventually continue after the correction will play out because if there are multiple breaks above ema and pushes lower that's a weaker downtrend but this is very strong you never close above ema i'm drawing the channel wider because i expect correction to play out because we have two legs down i was quite surprised that we had a second entry short but looking back it makes sense because the first bar that close above ema but still you don't want to take it too stacked not the best signal bar you know i don't think you want to go short here i'm still thinking pretty much bearish at this point on okay despite the fact that we have so many new lows i'm just judging the overall structure how bearish it was but i need to let this correction play out new low first entry short second entry short failure and new high first entry long second entry long this would be normally a decent setup if this wasn't such a bearish downtrend but since the bias is so bearish i don't really want to go long even though it worked market is pushing higher there's a possibility for me to redraw channel wider like this but i don't really want to draw it like this because i'm thinking bearish we traded down we are in a trading range so i'm mainly focusing on just treating it as a first leg up second leg up and look for felt second entry long i don't want to take lower high why well because it can be a slightly wider pattern i cannot predict the future anything is possible i'm just playing the odds just following the rules the guidelines as safe as i can so lower high can work but i'm not sure if there is a wider pattern i just think it looks like a two like a pullback judging the structure we're in but i want to see a safe confirmation lower high here and we have a felt second inch long here but it triggered below bullish bar then you have this bar right here you know the context is great but it just didn't set up right it just didn't set up right you're below ema which is good you're below even this resistance this is another reason why you want to take it because the resistance is confirming it nicely key entry point as well but just didn't set up properly a little bit more aggressive definitely not a bad setup but just didn't set up properly in my opinion second entry short above ema no low or high and you're pushing lower you're just basically stuck in this train range so notice you're combining the train range rules with overall bias which was bearish okay i'm just going to zoom out to remind yourself what is the bias think about this bias notice this massive leg down you're probably going to reach the main support notice you're not touching the main support and this is very weird the prices if you trend down so strongly you're going to reach the bottom of this main support so inside of this trend range i'm following the shortened channels we have a break new high first leg up pull back second leg up you're at the highs of the trend range and we have a second entry short i decided to mark it because it is a second entry short uptrend played out with the break new high you're selling at the highs of the trend range the first bar signal bar is bullish but this following bar is quite nice so decent setup for aggressive trader following the price action rules break new high selling highs uptrend played out great price action setup strong push below ema we completely strong push below the support we completely negated the support this is important once again this is indicating okay the bias is getting too bearish because this was supposed to show some buying momentum it didn't we just sliced through so we may have stronger downtrend on our hands at this point on you don't want to draw any wider downtrend because you're still in train range you don't know if this is going to hold or not so i'm just following the shortened channels notice this is the breakout area and we never fully tested it we have new low first entry short second entry short okay the spike and the channel needs to get new extreme following the trend line rule but the single bar is bullish and you have this bearish bar double bar entry once again this is not a bad setup by any means because uptrend played out with the break new high 
your at the exponential moving average with the direction of the main trend just the signal bar is not great you can go short here you would just have to write this out if the first second entry short didn't form well you can wait for extra confirmation low or high but low or high form equally as bad flat ema bullish bar here just stems you get this bar right here too late notice you even have inside bars so you can't even enter low or high here this inside bar is not even good so just a mess here you want to take these high priority setups now if you are flustered that you cannot get a setup but you at least recognize the direction properly you need to be appreciative of this fact because next time you will try to enter a setup like this you will get a better signal bar and you will capitalize on the knowledge you've just gained so i know it may be a little bit frustrated i'm definitely sometimes frustrated as well if i keep just getting bad and bad signal bar after another bar but if you're just beginning and you're just learning and you can recognize the direction you want to go short here but you can't because of bad signal bar still appreciate the fact that you can recognize what the market is doing and the fact that you want to go short here and you recognize the high priority setup because like i mentioned next time in the future you're going to get a better signal bar and you need to be ready to pounce on the signal bar break new low i don't think we're going to go short market is reversing okay so now that the market is pushing higher it's flattening a little bit your first thought is that we're going to reach this breakout area this is a lot of times how the price session acts remember keep redrawing these channels because they will keep you on the right side of the market break and a new high okay and the reason why i'm drawing it tight here because this spike in the channel still needed new low now that we reach new low i can make it slightly wider i can't draw it too wide because the main bias is still bearish but i can just draw it slightly wider at this point on and also strong decisive push above ema now notice we tested this breakout area and rejecting strongly so the support that acted throughout the entire range is now shifting direction and is acting as a resistance good confirmation here and also notice if i'm going to zoom out at this point on i can look for wider pattern why because we are no longer in training range like this we are starting to form a downtrend and since we tested this breakout area this is confirming a possible bigger downtrend notice fits off the highs getting confirmed here and getting confirmed here so at this point on i can finally draw wider pattern because the structure is getting way too bearish and because of these reasons i'm looking even for lower high because we tested the breakout area and this key level is giving more confidence in the bearish bias for the reason lower high in this instance is a great high priority setup i don't need to wait for a second entry long especially if i get such a great signal bar look at this bullish bar nice trap take high reversal down tier one signal bar below ema great momentum and honestly you can even take this full second entry long you know it's tad sketchy the fact that you confirmed the breaker area and now the main key entry point is confirmed again because strong push below EMA confirmed the momentum. This is a felt second inch long high priority setup. Any second inch long against the main trend which is down is going to be considered a trap. Market is pushing lower and at this point on it gets pretty easy. You're just following the price session which means if you're in a downtrend you're just letting the bullish corrections play out. Remember you're looking for two legged pullbacks and you're looking for the bullish trend to play out. So we have an uptrend break new high it is safe to sell uptrend break new high it is safe to sell but you're not quite close to the trend line market is pushing lower no good setup here uptrend working higher break new high same scenario here 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 and here so you have a new low first entry short pull back second entry short we have high probability setup now you have an inside bar here but this is more aggressive but it is a decent setup because this inside bar is very bearish and you can still get a chance to enter below this bar right here so not the cleanest setup but given the structure now and the break in new high indicating it is safe to sell decent price action setup and you have a break in new low of this downtrend and now this low exceeded this low right here so you don't want to be selling this late this too close to these lows this is way too down remember your goal is to wait for prices to come to your key entry point, not to chase market after the new low has been exceeded. Now, we have a first break of the main channel. So we expect for prices to create new low. Just because we have a break of a channel, I'm not going to start buying immediately. New high, first entry long. Okay, so if you push below EMA, I'm going to consider fell second entry long. Okay, we're pushing below EMA, so that's good. Okay, nice. We have a second entry long failure. New high, first entry long, second entry long failure. Below EMA, below this trend line, 
great signal bar, high probability setup, two attempts to create new high, failed because the main bias is taking precedence, great signal bar below EMA, you need new low, and a great high probability setup. New low was reached, so you want to be a little bit careful, even though we have second entry short, which you may take because notice if you zoom out, the downtrend is very, very strong, so you may have a few more pushes to the downside, but at this point on, it's getting quite late, market closed, and once you have break new low, you want to be a little bit careful. There were two confusing areas on the chart. First area is this right here because you have a break new high, but it looks too bullish. But any other wider channel would just be too wide for this strengthening structure. And the second area was this area right here where you can't really go long just yet because compare this bullish momentum to this bearish structure, you can't even make it to the midline. You barely crawled up above the string range and this was the first leg correction second leg so the two leg pullback played out market corrected down and only after the support held buyers started buying this is where the momentum change and the buyers are stepping into the market and you can be looking for uptrend at that point on train range and downtrend started at this point it's pretty easy behavior remember this is how price action acts you want to sell at the correction phase, not to chase market all the way down here. Our job is to identify key entry points. Our job is to identify when it is okay to sell and it is okay to sell. After we get a two-leg like pullback, break any new high and we are at the key entry point. These are clues that the high priority setup may form. And notice all of these setups are selling at the top of this channel where the correction phase is ending and the push phase is beginning. Our job is always just to sell when the push phase is about to begin and you're using these price action rules and tools to help you identify how to find this setup. I'm going to wrap it up. Good luck, everybody.